Chances are you are one of three people. You're either A, interested in buying an excursion, you're actively looking in the market and shopping for one. B, you have seen excursions, you've seen that they're becoming more popular and you're trying to decide if an excursion is right for your family. Or C, uh, you just like to, to kill some time uh, by watching YouTube videos like this for entertainment, uh, which I totally relate to and I do that all the time as well. But hey, if you are any of those three, this video should be helpful to you um, and potentially entertaining, I don't know. But my name is Jake and I am actually the owner operator of Success Motors. We're a dealer in College Station, Texas. But today, I'm not trying to sell you anything. In fact, this video is just one that I think uh, you'll find interesting if you like excursions or if you're trying to decide if one is right for you. Little backstory, uh, I've grown up around cars, I've grown up around trucks and vehicles and dirt bikes and four wheelers. I've owned a dealership for about 18 months. Um, I'm driving an excursion right now and we have bought and sold somewhere in the ballpark of 30, excursion, 30 excursions so far in 2023. So I know a little bit about them and so I hopefully can bring some value to you in your decision making process. Now if you are interested in this excursion, it is for sale. Uh, it's a 2004 Ford Excursion Eddie Bauer four wheel drive diesel. Um, but if you don't want this one, that's totally cool as well. My hope is that I can give you a good review of what it is like to live with a Ford Excursion and maybe even point out some things you may or may not have known about these trucks that will help you make your decision. Uh, so anyway, with that kind of lens in mind, I'm driving it around, so I'm going to give you my driving impressions of them, what it's like to live with on a daily basis. Could you put your wife in it and, and let it her, be her daily car? Could, could you yourself drive it? Could you use your? Could you use it to haul your family around? Could it be a grocery getter? Could it be a truck? I mean, what could it be used for? So hopefully, I can address some of those questions, and the video hopefully won't be longer than maybe 15 minutes or so. And if you do find this helpful, just let me know in the comments because I do want to make more content like this to go along with all of our uh, you know, walk around videos that we post pretty regularly. But anyway, so just driving behind the wheel of any excursion. Uh, but this one specifically, it's got to be a good one, all right? So what I'm going to say is just assuming you bought a good excursion. And if you want to know what a good excursion is, maybe watch another video I'm going to post later about what to look for when buying one. But I'm just going to assume you have a good excursion, it's been well cared for, steering's tight, all that. So with all that out of the way, excursions are great. They really drive well. I don't know what you can see or not see from this video, but you know I'm driving 45 miles an hour down the road. Um, I just got out of my 2018 Platinum F250, and this excursion is just as comfortable as that new truck is. And it's got all the, the features that you, you need and you would want to have this day and age, like heated seats and a good working heater. And I'll show you all those things you know, in a minute. But this truck, I think a lot of people might be concerned about them feeling too big. It definitely doesn't feel too big at least in my opinion, coming from a 2018 F-250. In fact, they feel smaller uh, than that truck does to me. So it's got a great feel to it, in my opinion. It's, it's definitely not too big. I don't think my wife would have any problems driving this. She daily drives an F-150, and um, she um, would do great in an, in an excursion like this. The steering is good. Um, again, if you have a good one, that's it's been well cared for. You know, not much free play or if any free play in the steering. There shouldn't be. Sometimes there is, but there shouldn't be any free play um, in the steering. You know, they've got cruise control. You can control your volume on your steering wheel. I mean, it's just got a lot of features to it. But they handle good. They drive good. They they're very comfortable. The seats are comfortable. In my opinion, these kind of early 2000s Ford, whether it's Super Duty or Excursion or even some of their uh, like expeditions and stuff, the seats are really comfortable. So that is my impression of this as well. Uh, these seats are super comfortable. Um, a couple of drawbacks might be, well, let's see here. I'm going to see. It does tell you the temperature outside and miles per gallon and, and all that stuff. A you know, couple of drawbacks to an Excursion. Uh, would not have anything to do with size or handling in my opinion it would have to do with the fact that you know they don't get great gas mileage so this one is getting this one in, in the city is getting 10 okay so hopefully that's not accurate um but right now with just city driving this one hasn't been on the highway in a while it's getting 10 
keep in mind this one has 35 inch tires and it's lifted and it's deleted and it's i mean it's it's a it's a bad excursion i'm in right now uh, and i've seen them get much better i've seen them on the highway get closer to 18 or 19 but you know you, your miles per gallon probably uh, isn't great and then being a diesel the uh the maintenance cost can be a little bit higher right an oil change with fuel filters and an oil filter is probably around four to five hundred dollars on a truck like this but um Anyway, that it's probably I'm kind of I'm probably I'm just talking to be honest with you. So hopefully there's a rhyme or reason and you get some value out of this conversation, but or this video. But anyway, they drive good, they handle good, the size isn't a problem. They're not the fastest thing in the world, but they're not slow. Uh, so if you hop in it knowing it's not going to be a race car, you know that won't disappoint you. In my opinion, the six liter uh, is the more peppy of the motors. I don't think that's even opinion. I think that's pretty factual. They get a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque. So I do prefer driving the six liter over like the seven three. Um, they're a little bit more peppy. So, but either way, it's, it's not a fast vehicle. You know, it's like a big 8,000 pound vehicle. But speaking of size, you know, it still stops good. It still, it still takes off just fine. And then you feel safe in it because it's 8,000 pounds and it's still made out of steel and not made out of um, aluminum or whatever they're making vehicles out of these days. But you know, you feel safe in it. My, my kids have ridden with me in these excursions and they, they, they parrot the same thing. My seven year old son says, daddy, I feel so safe when I'm in the wheel or behind the wheel or, you know, in an, in a Ford excursion. So they really do feel, they feel safe. They feel stable. They drive good. And then they, they track straight down the highway. So I guess all of that being said, I would say that a 2004, 2002, whatever excursion rides very good and very similar to a modern SUV. Is the modern SUV going to be SUV going to be better? Absolutely. But is the excursion good? Yes. And then, kind of secondly to some of that, I would build in like the financial conversation. So this excursion right here could be had for twenty five thousand dollars. It is extremely nice. And but if you wanted to go buy a comparable or equivalent SUV today, a new one like a Yukon. Denali or an Expedition or something like that. First of all, they're not going to have the same capacities as an Excursion. An Excursion can hold eight people and tow 12,000 pounds. So they're not going to be able to do that. But if you bought a new SUV because you don't need to tow 12,000 pounds, you're going to spend like 80 grand. So 25,000 versus 80. And then also interestingly enough, in my opinion, these excursions are appreciating. And if you've watched the market at all for the past six to eight months, you've seen that the values are going up. So in a couple of years, when you decide you decide to sell your SUV because your family is, uh, your kids have gotten bigger or what have you, if you go to sell that Yukon, man, it's probably worth half what you paid for it, if not less. While this excursion is going to be worth 25 grand, if not more. So you're going to get your money back. So I find them to be a pretty good uh, financial, not investment, but it's never an investment buying a car necessarily, unless you're buying something that is, um, you know, for sure going up in value. But anywho, I do think it's a better financial decision to buy an excursion than it is to go out and buy a brand new Yukon. But nonetheless, I'm about to pull over and I'm going to pull the camera off of here and I'm going to just kind of show you through the interior. There may or may not be some features that uh, you are not aware of that these excursions have that you know, make them a, a pretty comfortable vehicle for your family. All right, so I just pulled over into this parking lot just to kind of show you around the Ford Excursion. Many of you uh, are very familiar with this, but some of you are not. So let's just start right here. Um, obviously, this one has an aftermarket stereo. So one of the things that obviously a modern vehicle would have would be modern technologies, which that's easy enough to swap out. So you can remove the stock head unit and put in a new one. And then now you've got CarPlay and you've got navigation and, and all of those kind of modern features you might want or expect uh, in your daily driver. But so that's aftermarket, obviously. But here's what the, the controls look like. Very easy to use controls on these excursions. Really super simple. I like these buttons over a touch screen, but you know, to adjust your fan, adjust your temperature. I mean, it's just really very intuitive and very easy. Modern cars are a little bit uh, more challenging. They just have so many buttons. You gotta you know, get to a different screen just to change you know, 
things that you wish would be on the home screen. But anyway, so like the infotainment area, or the climate control area, you know, these excursions is great and it can always be updated to a, to a modern one, uh, to a modern head unit. You've got these off some handy dandy cup holders. So that works out real well. Plus you got two cup holders right there. You've got your um, cigarette lighter. You can actually upgrade these to be like uh, USB ports. So we've got another excursion right now that this has all been upgraded to just like, I guess it's just like an insert you put in and those could be USBs. Um, so that's easy peasy. Over here on this truck, we're missing the dial that's on order, but it's a four wheel drive truck. So you got two wheel drive, four high, four low. Um, it also has, so this is, uh, this has a vacuum, vacuum pe uh, seals, I guess vacuum pump or uh, whatever the right word would be to say it. So when you switch it, it goes into to four wheel drive, but it also has manual locking hubs on the outside, you know, your rear defrost and it has parking sensors. So believe it or not, this big old truck has parking sensors and this one also has a backup camera. So while it is a big truck, you still get uh, parking sensors and you can add a backup camera if you'd like to. It has adjustable pedals right there if you want to get the seating posi position just right. And then on this overhead console, you know, you can control your, your climate right there. You've got a, a, a digital readout for miles per gallon, miles still empty, temperature. So that's awesome. Get you, a, you know, you've got vents here. These are for these back windows. Those vents are that very back window. You can open them up to get some uh, ventilation. You got a place for your for your sunglasses. These are oftentimes broken, by the way. And then this is for your garage door opener. Boom! Just kind of again, just showing you the showing you around the excursion. You got your lights; they can be automatic. So it's an older vehicle, but you know you got some modern features. You got the automatic lights if you want them. Here's what the display looks like. You know, nothing crazy there this one has 262,000 miles on it steering wheel this one is eddie bauer edition you got your on off this is just for your cruise control settings this truck uh, does work some of them have more features than others i'm going to turn this one off so i don't have to talk so loud uh, some of them have more features than others but you know you got power seats and you got your lumbar support and you got your uh, all your switches there come around back oh, let me unlock this thing and the cool thing about Fords is a lot of them have I don't remember what year they started but they've got these keyless entry pads so big fan of that now this one I'm just stepping in the back so this is where your kids would be right get a little armrest here so this is the bench seat in the back sometimes they come with captain's chairs and there's the third row seat not a bad place to sit the way that um, Ford has it designed, not a terrible place to sit, but these, these, the second row is very comfortable and you've got, um, I guess you've got some control right there. I'm not sure what those would control because this one doesn't have the, the TV from the factory. Although somebody has added this aftermarket, this is an aftermarket TV. Somebody added to the second and third row. Um, uh, but you got another, you know, charging port there and you've got some, um, I guess maybe you can control the radio. You got some cup holders back here. You can control the AC. One thing I love about these excursions over like the truck is they've got the, the vents and the uh, vents up here in the roof. So if you got kids, your, you know, your kids get some good airflow. So lots of space for, for your kiddos, lots of space for your dogs. Got a lot of people buy these, uh, so they can carry their dogs around. And then back here, one of the cool things about these excursions and the reason people buy them is you got three rows. You get to see eight people and then you still have a tremendous amount of cargo area. I don't know, you know, per cubic inches or meters or whatever the measurement would be, how many, how big this is. But you can see that's a full size 35 inch tire right there. And there's plenty of space to put all your luggage back here you got eight people up there. You got all your luggage. You got your jack in there. This one came with a roll of toilet paper also. If you buy this one, I'll include that for free. You got your hooks right here to tie stuff down. Just very handy. These doors open up real wide. 
they actually have a latch on them that can stop them right there or you can take the latch off and open them all the way up so if you're using this to go get groceries obviously plenty of space if you're using it to go on vacation you got eight kids coming or you got eight people total maybe six kids two adults or I don't know two kids two dogs two adults whatever your family looks like it's got room for it here and then all the while it can tow 12,000 pounds so you could be loaded down with your your boat your family your stuff and you guys could be gone again let me kind of go around here what else we got we got yeah we got those parking sensors are right there again this one's got the the backup camera tail light so yeah guys just a, a great truck Lots of features, a lot of features. I mean, think about it, whatever you're driving right now, if you're driving a newer SUV, it probably cost you, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 grand. But how many of the features do you actually use? How many of those features in your vehicle do you currently use? So I would argue probably not even a fraction of them. But these excursions, they've got all the features that you need and nothing you don't. So there you go, uh, there's some of the features of the the interior of the truck i'm about to fire it back up and and take off and keep driving it here um this one actually has been fitted with the the viper alarm system so it actually has remote start so again another feature that you can add to your excursion if you'd like to if you'd like your remote start you can add remote start um also if you're new to diesels there are glow plugs on these things but don't let that be a big concern to you when you stick the key in to start it, there's a little coil that pops up in the dash display. And when that, dis that coil goes away, that means the truck is, is ready to fire up. It takes a little bit longer on a cold day. And if you've already been driving it for the day, it doesn't take very long at all. So don't overthink that if that's a concern of, of yours. But anyway, hopefully you guys found some value in this. If you're interested in buying a Ford Excursion, this one's for sale. If this one doesn't tickle your fancy, we got a bunch of others. Be sure to stay tuned to the to the YouTube channel. If you're person B and you're trying to decide if a, an excursion is good for your family, if you could use it, my answer would be yeah, absolutely. You definitely can, and it would make a good finance. It'd be a good financial decision. I think you could easily drive this yourself. Your family could drive it. You could put your your wife in this thing, and she could daily drive it. Your kids would be happy. You could put your kids in this thing. And man, it's a phenomenal, just a phenomenal vehicle, at least in my opinion. But if you've watched the market lately and seen how fast these things sell, um, you'll realize that it's not just my opinion. These things are loved by many, and that is for a reason. So if you're on the fence about buying an excursion, man, get off the fence and go ahead and buy one. And if you're person C and you just like to watch entertaining stuff on YouTube, hopefully this was entertaining to you guys i get a lot of people messaging and commenting and calling asking me to you know film certain things um or just thanking me for for some of the educational stuff i put out which honestly none of it is intended to be educational so, so far i'm just kind of talking through um the vehicles and my experience but i do want to put more content out in the educational bin so if you have anything that you think would be interesting to see regarding these excursions or anything else, man, leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see and I'd be happy to film a quick video for you and throw it on the YouTube channel. But anyway, guys, I hope you found some value in this. God bless you all. Y'all have a great day.